Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to pull from the evolution of the soul to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts you rock with me and have my six, me to have my back because I have yours. You guys, I miss you and I am back. If you guys see, I have created a new schedule. It is let me see, 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Those videos will go out. Um, I am premiering them, so I will be watching the comments. Um, eventually, I will start going live, but yeah, right now, we are just getting the schedule going. I have um, I am finishing up a couple of things that I've been working on in the past year, and this last couple of months has caused me legacy that's basically right this last plus couple of months has caused me to have to pull back my energy um both physically mentally spiritually and emotionally that is the biggest thing when it comes to us cancers um i am completing this um, project that i've been working on and it's been like an emotional roller coaster so therefore what i need to do i needed to do is to take time for myself i am and we all should be building legacies but right now it's just a matter of completing things and getting things done the way they need to be done so the lv l10 consciousness comes out and with that being said hold on one second um with that being said it says live your life and live you, excuse me you live in your own spiritual reality which is correct um for years i've lived in my own world i've lived in my own bubble and things like that and so what went on outside of that was no concern to me but I realized that there was a lot there there's life outside of me right and so um it says you are fused with the collective and again me coming on and focusing on the my gifts and the things that um I needed to share with the world has been a tremendous uh, eye opener for me and it's been a healing experience for me and just to be able to hear things and to see things and to help people um, when it comes to putting the pieces together that's the reason why I have the puzzle piece and the heart and the infinity symbol um, it's the heart and the infinity symbol and the puzzle piece saying that when or when is the heart going to stop um, uh, growing hold on this is my mom hold on one second okay so sorry about that um yeah so the lvl7 consciousness is here it says you're beginning to live from spirit exactly trusting in the divine right because again you live in your own spiritual reality you have your own belief systems you do things the way you want to do them and not basically uh, based on tradition how how although the way that you love is differently the way that you you care for people is differently. You give your everything to people. And it says you are infused with the collective, meaning that you're here to um, try to help the world. But it says you know how to heal others' pain. That is a big thing when it comes to you trying to live out your legacy or build your legacy because you're so busy putting into another person what it is that you feel like you didn't receive or that they need based upon what the potential you see in them or the lack thereof support that they received as a child or as an individual and just knowing that they can be better, you know, but however, it says you connect with others emotionally. Yes. And empath. And it says the Lyran, the authentic living and the ancestors, right? So the Lyran is excel in physical activities, binge and physical joys, freedom fighter, and you're fighting for people's freedom or to free their, um, their pain of childhood emotion or some type of emotion it says go from fling to fling and hardly settle now respectfully i will say this is could be the energy that you've been dealing with because first of all i don't binge in physical joys and activities so that's just me however i believe the freedom fighter is you helping people fight to free their um you know themselves from past pains but going from fling, fling to fling and hardly settling i think that's the type of energy you've been dealing with when it comes to people now fling to fling and um and hardly settling could be that you know you can't find 
someone who completes you. Everybody always depletes you. So that could be that, whether male or female. But authentic living, it says, be true to yourself is imp being true to yourself is important. That's what you have to learn going through all of these different energies, the lessons that you have to go through, the ones that you have to learn from. Heartbreak is considered lessons. The past is considered lessons. It might be painful, but you learn a lesson from the past. Inspire others to live authentically. So you're inspiring others to be a freedom fighter or showing them how to fight for their freedom of the past pain. But you inspire them to live out their dream and their potential of what you see. And sometimes you give your all to those uh, people. And it says you value honesty and openness. Yes, you do. You're very open when it comes to how you how how people love you're okay you go with the flow you kind of um let people dictate your um your your relationship without setting boundaries because you don't want to seem too needy you don't want to seem you don't want to lose somebody you don't want to be too vulnerable so you just kind of go with the flow so that authentic living is something that you have to get and deal with because the people that you've dealt with go from fling to fling and hardly settle but you feel like you have the gift of what it takes to help heal that person you do the gift that you can give them is to walk away and to live authentically through yourself the ancestors are here you have to clear ancestral agreements and that's what you're trying to help people do but you're doing that for yourself whether you know it or not so you are a healer you are an empath you are someone who everybody comes to who they give their weight um who who they give their um problems to the energy they dump negative energy on you and therefore this is something that your ancestors have been dealing with but you have to learn how to deal with their trauma and how not to as an empath take on their past hurts and their their the things that they're going through so it says pain trauma limited beliefs imprints all of the things the pain the trauma the limiting beliefs of others imprints on you remember um, what imprint is it's like when somebody well okay I'll I'll give you what from the movie Twilight when the little girl imprinted when the the little girl I might be saying that backwards or the um the 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 daughter of I forget her name um the best friend remember he imprinted on um or she imprinted on him and he was like um visually focused on only her like he his job was only to protect her if that makes sense but this is a, a tattoo for you every time you go through something and you try to help somebody their pain their trauma and their belief system their limited belief system imprints on you so it tattoos on you as a as um you know, people get tattoos, they get tattoos based upon feelings and emotions. Well, nowadays they don't. Nowadays people get tattoos and respectfully some people get tattoos because it seems cool, but it doesn't have a meaning. A lot of other, you know, beforehand I could say, or not just before, certain people get um, tattoos based on emotions or a, a, an event or some type of pain that or trauma that they went through that they want to, it constantly reminds them of something about the past and so again my tattoo is my father's heartbeat and it's a infinity symbol um, a heart which never closes and infinity doesn't close but it's like when are you going to stop loving uh, so deeply and uh, you know kind of like going round and round and find that puzzle piece which is right here and it seems to people like it looks like uh, just a whole bunch of squiggly lines but to me it means something so this is the the, you know why I got these three tattoos now before I got a tattoo and it meant something but um, it was my birthday but it only I know that no one else knows what it means but you know again people get tattoos just because they cool it's no pain it's no trauma it's nothing behind it no adversity behind it it's just because everybody else is doing it it's a fad which it was before but it was it meant something you know the tattoos meant something respectfully so healing ancestral line and future healing ancestral line and future so the ancestral path you know the the path that they walked and also future trauma you're healing but you're being in the present moment because you want a legacy you want to give like these other people have legacies they they you know uh, some legacies are from insurance policies that they pass on insurance policies to the, each one of their kids each generation and so they know that down the line each generation will be fine you want to be able to do that but you're trying to create um, or, or figure out what it is that you can do and find your passion when it comes to 
things that are going to leave a legacy that somebody and living leaving legacies is you have to build up on them um down the line but leaving a legacy is something that will constantly keep regenerating and regenerating and um you know again if you own some type of business and your children don't want to be a part of it do you live them leave them a legacy um and sometimes it happens but some people are starting to put stipulations on the legacy that they leave to people. So that is where it comes to you living in your own spiritual uh, reality and you are fused with the collective. It says you're able to channel divine power. So your legacy is a part of coming from your ancestors, living authentically and also understanding how to live from spirit and not. And, and also you connect with uh, others emotionally and it says you know how to heal others pain this could be something that you are bringing forth into the future that will constantly just say for instance like with the youtube videos they might down the line be worth more or they might not be or you know you want to leave that so that somebody can come back and and be able to learn from that if that makes sense so that's kind of how i see that energy but i'm going to pull from the um i'm going to pull from the uh archetype uh, deck with uh, with the traits to see the type of energy already we have somebody coming for fling the fling and you know you 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 helping them deal with trauma basically codependent the romantic and old-fashioned look at all these cards that keep coming over yeah alien mm -hmm. so um the ex yeah this is what your ex was the romantic the shadow lover fool in love soulmate and the cautious one and the alien so the romantic old-fashioned views towards love this could be your energy look at the way the cards set up i'm not sure take what resonates with what doesn't love to court or be courted does romantic things to show their love this could be your energy or this could be your ex's energy i mean take what resonates but basically the shadow lover exploring their inner darkness we walking towards um wellness and wholeness learning to integrate their shadow self and so this could be some type of energy the romantic and shadow lover same color cards you know the same colors color scheme but when it comes to a fool in love they fall deeply in love will go above and beyond to prove their love love has often made a fool out of them that could be your energy and that could be a part of you understanding how to connect with people but at the same time you do this because you think certain people and energies are your soulmate and it says you know you have to be cautious when it comes to sorry you have to be cautious when it comes to certain situations and people that you let come into your life so the soulmate will have a lasting impact on your life values are in total alignment ready to meet their soulmate you could be ready to meet your soulmate but it takes you to kiss a couple of frogs to be the fool or to understand the lessons of life but you have to be cautious in the process of this and once you learn the lessons of the past and why that you people's energy goes and it it um it sinks on you i don't know what this is Okay. Um, it, it, um, basically, um, how do you say sinks or sticks to you? You have to be cautious, cautious when entering into a relationship, test partners love to analyze the reactions, has their defense wall up. You're going to have your defense wall up. However, you're going to say certain things. You're going to speak your mind. You're going to move forward because now at this point, you're going to be considered an alien. You're going to be a cast out and it says has a hard time in the dating world they often feel like they don't fit in you we already know that cancers really don't feel fit the void of the normal people we love different we we do love differently we are different and once we learn our true power then it says someone who isn't your usual type we're not the usual type we are easy to fall in love with people are easy to fall in love with us and to give give us their negative energy but at the same time our expectations of what love is and what friendship is and what a union is is not the same as everyone else and how we want to be loved and the things that we like to do so we become the alien once we learn these situations and learn the different people we're not going to be a fool in love we're not we're going to be very cautious and we're going to exile ourselves. it says the ex the uh the one that got away still has a soft spot for an ex they keep their ex in their life so we keep a lot of our exes in our lives respectfully but that's because we don't uh, burn bridges and if nine times out of ten I cut you off you handed me the scissors so I don't you know I don't and a lot of cancers don't burn bridges we want to be friends with everyone down the line until we're not and so that is the things that we have to learn when it comes to moving forward I'll pull from a situation to see what the situations are 
uh, when it comes to why you're cautious and why you felt like you were a fool in love. The romantic is already there searching. And so, yeah, you had to move forward and people are searching for you in today's time, the present moment. But you had to live in the present moment and be cautious of what's going on. So now people are looking for you because you physically moved. You moved your energy. You removed your energy from these people. And so online looking for info records, it says moving physical and location change. You change right now in the present moment. People cannot find your old address, your old house, or maybe if they have your old number, you block their numbers and you don't answer numbers that you don't know. And so therefore there is a hard way for them to find you. They have to really search and do some type of um, um, asking around for you. And sometimes people's pride is too big and their ego is too big. In order to do that and so therefore I'm gonna pull from the intuit tarot uh, to see what comes out when it comes to tarot yeah I believe that you had to remove your energy from these people eight of cups yep walking away release what doesn't serve you emotional unfulfilledness this king of swords this could be from a king of swords somebody who uh, it's in the reverse who was sarcastic cold controlling unbending lacks integrity sharp drunk of power and loose cannons yeah, you had to walk away, time to move on and letting go. You had to let go from this situation. And therefore, when it comes to the Ten of Wands, yeah, this was burdens. It says brink of collapse, re responsibilities, over the limit, overwhelmed, almost there, overload and done. You were done with the situation. And uh, this comes um, unsure, the double energy, strings attached and unhealthy patterns so you know that there was a lot of strings attached to the situation and a lot of unhealthy patterns but you had to make a decision to move forward the cards that come over yeah the ebb and flows of life the will of fortune on why i say with the tattoo um the the ever never ending um heart and infinity symbol the bottom of the deck is the two of coins you had to make a decision you had to make a decision. You had to make a quick decision and you had to prioritize yourself because you kept going back and forth, back and forth with this ex. And so therefore, let me pull these cards. Yeah, the lover's energy card of Gemini. So we have the king of swords here, discord, disharmony, trust issues, disconnected and imbalance. The lovers in the reverse is what you had to deal with. The judgment is in the reverse. Indecisiveness, self-doubt, unwilling to learn karmic lessons, negative self-talk. So you've talked yourself into a negative space. And so therefore, based upon all the energies of you being a fool in love and now cautious, this shadow lover energy is here. So the vernal equinox shows its face, the dark, uh, dark to light. Timing a few days. It's time. Act now. Fresh start. Awakening and spring. So in the springtime, you will be hearing from um, this uh, looks like a Gemini energy or X, um, shall I say. Take what resonates. They could have um, they could have a lot of air energy in their chart, but basically you will be hearing from this person, your ex, and um, making a quick decision or. Um, understanding why you juggled in the past because it's a balancing act the will of fortune is things are beyond your control so there were challenges external forces upheavals luck of the draw karmic lessons up being turning points and a big push that pushed you out and to walk away from this person so you will hear from this person um, and you have already determined that this was a toxic environment but, you know, and that it was a lot of strings attached and unhealthy patterns in the situation. But you were unsure on which one, which was what, what was which, or wait, which was what. <laughs> so when it came to this, so this is all the things that you always constantly questioned, if that makes sense. And so I'm going to pull from my little card, one of my card decks that I'm going to get the rest of them out. But um, I just haven't done it. But, uh, yeah, the empath oracle um yeah i'm gonna pull from here these are the emotions that i i go through when it comes to making decisions so manifestation and believe you didn't believe that this would be able to manifest into anything and so this is the reason why you had to pull your energy back because you didn't believe in the situation anymore the toxicity it was too much and the balancing act when it came to this person that keeps coming and going is not going to be a good legacy for you so things were beyond your control the only thing you can do is just wait and trust in divine timing and understand that there was a disconnect and there was trust issues and issues in regards to this if that makes sense so I'm going to go ahead and pull from uh, the Cozy Witch deck. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the Cozy Witch deck and go from there. Because, yeah, you had questioned a lot when it came to this devil energy, not knowing 
what it is that you're able to do. Yeah, the five of swords. Yeah, you can't be right all the time. This card, yeah, the patient, which you were always patient with this situation. Again, um, I was going to say patience came out, but that was my last read. Okay. Three of Pentacles, go out and go back and check my last reading. Three of Pentacles, it says, what's the saying? Teamwork make the spell work. So you needed somebody that you can rely on, somebody that you can trust in, and somebody that will balance temperance is underneath here. But being the five of swords, you can't be right all the time. The five of swords energy is ego. This person acted in ego. You were patient. And so basically the only thing you had to do, only thing that you could do was make a decision to walk away because everybody was walking away from this person. The only thing that was loyal to this person was this dog because you guys walked away or you walked away. The only person that was willing to listen to this person is this dog. Do you see? No matter what, they try to be right, and the dog is always going to listen, whether right or wrong. And the patient witch is here. It says, learn to get comfortable with sitting still whenever it's necessary. And that's what you had to do. You had to trust in divine timing and believe in yourself, because at one point you weren't. Eight of Cups energy comes out twice. When it comes to the Ten of Swords, hurt people hurt people, and hurt witches hurt witches. And so that is why you just had to walk away and pack up, you know, when it came to understanding that there is a lot of misfortune when it comes to um, dealing with people who have painful endings, you know, deep wounds and betray, you know, that betray a lot of people and that have lost a lot of people. And so the only thing that you could do, which was right, was to walk away from the things that no longer served you. And that was so you can live your authentic life and understand what a legacy is and trust in divine timing and find people who complete you and not deplete you. But that was what you had to do. You had to physically move, uh, physically move, um, change your location. And now they're searching for you. So by the springtime, they will be back around and have an awakening if they haven't already and they'll be ready for a fresh start which is the vernal equinox from dark to light so um again um if this was in the um up uh, this way it would be prepare for change timing a few months make long-term plans express gratitude and har harvest and then fall in the fall time but eight of cups it says if your life feels stale explore some new sceneries and that's why you walked away because now things are starting to happen for the, your best interest and now they have to be able to either find you but you walked away you walked away you moved your location and therefore it was all to your best interest so um it says always do your best because you've done your best you've done your best in this situation that's why they're looking for you because you knew that it was just two toxic unhealthy patterns and strings attached to why you had to walk away do your best because you want to. You did this because you want to. You're very authentic when it comes to the way that you love and how you love and, what, and the way that you want to be loved. And therefore, they took your kindness for a weakness. You do your best when you are enjoying the actions or doing it in a way that will not have negative repercussions for you. You do your best because you want to do it, not because you have to do it, not because you are trying to please the judge and not because you are trying to put people ple to please other people. And so the, your authentic energy, authentic living, is why they're going to swing the block again, but they're going to try to do it because they learned their karmic lesson of why they had no type of stability and they had all these different unhealthy attachments and they played games. And so, again, with the lovers being in the reverse, they didn't believe in you, so you had to show them better than they can tell you because their misaligned values, discord, harmony, trust issues, and disconnected imbalance is why you walked away and that's their fault and now you know they don't look at you as an alien anymore someone who isn't your usual type this person wasn't your usual type you're used to certain things and this air sign or x was um you know very um uh imbalanced and so that's how i see that i'm gonna go ahead and pull from the crystal deck you know Let's see, I want to pull from something else. Hold on, let me see. I pulled from the, hmm, let me see. I pulled from, I think this is In the Shadows, or I rem I don't remember the name of this deck, but uh, this is by All Being Intuitive. I do know that um, it's not In the Shadows, but yeah, I'll pull from this deck. I'm starting to understand our connection. I know I was distraction. I was a distraction from your pain. This is what you felt, but they're starting to understand the connection, I believe, and they realize that um, I regret lying to you. Yeah, they realize they regret lying to you, that it was kind of like 
their fault. And so now I'm going to pull from the crystal deck. If you want to know about the four agreements and also the chakras, click the links above. I'll post them. Um, also, I'll be on three times a day. Um, I'll be on 5, uh, 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll be on 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, it will be premiering for the first uh, couple of weeks. And I'll be in the background looking and and responding back to you in the comments. So talk to me. I talk back. But um, the tangerine quartz and the blue lace agate, root sacral solar plex chakra, understanding, acceptance, and growth. And that's what you have done. I release all judgments so that I may grow spiritually. You had to release the judgment of them thinking that you were alien, you were crazy, you know, all these different things that they said about you. And now they understand your connection. The blue lace agate is the throat and the third eye chakra, communication stabilizing and calming. And so it says, I communicate easily and effectively. You're going to say what you want, mean what you say, and go from there because you've done your best in this situation. There's nothing else that you can do. This person has to heal on their own, and they have to understand your connection and regret a lot of the things that they did. But if this person does come back around and you are able to adapt with them because the balancing act of the two of coins here it says a balancing act, adaptability, prioritize, juggle back and forth, quick decisions, and financially adapt to a coin's energy. It has taken them two years in order to get to a point to where they're ready to open up and express themselves with you um, after going through a turmoil of however long you've been dealing with them. You've been in separation, it seems like, for two years to where you kind of start small, slowly but surely cutting off your energy to where you cut it all the way off because it, you just realized that it was too toxic. And that is where you see this challenges and things come into upheaval. And, you know, you reach this turning point. And the big push was you having to trust in the divine and let this person go. Walking away came out twice, and that was the Eight of Cups two times. So you have to understand that. So let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or situation i love you